Hi folks, I'm Ron Brown. Welcome to my shop. Today I'd like to talk to you about some of the finer points of sharpening our high-speed steel tools. This comes up all the time when I'm out of the woodworking show circuit and um, I've developed a few uh, jigs and fixtures and stuff to make it a lot easier and a lot more reliable. And uh, that's what I'd like to talk to you about today. So if you join me at the grinder, we'll go over them. When it comes to high-speed steel tools, there are six basic categories. Four of them, the bowl scraper, the spindle roughing gouge, parting tools, and skews, we sharpen on the platform. The other two that we sharpen using the pocket and holding fixtures are spindle gouges and bowl gouges. And that's what makes everybody crazy. So that's what I'm going to focus mostly on. The thing that makes this so confusing for most people when you're trying to put, let's say, an Ellsworth grind on a spindle gouge is that there are three variables. And the three variables just make it very complex. The first variable is the angle of the leg, right here. And I'm talking specifically to the users of the one-way Veragrind 1. So where to put this thing has always been a mystery. So for ball gouges, I'm going to tell you to drop this down into the fifth notch. You have notches here, one, two, three, four. Drop it down to the fifth notch and lock it down. That's variable number one. Variable number two is the stick out or the projection, meaning how far the tool projects from the end of the holding fixture right here. Uh, the universal length is two inches although Doug Thompson recommends one and three quarters. But uh, for, for what we're going to talk about here, I'm going to tell you two inches. All the turners I know either make some sort of gauge block. Here's uh, an inexpensive one that's available on my website, and it gives us that two inch projection we need. You could uh, simply drill a hole in a board two inches deep. Doesn't really matter, and there are other people that have these two inch gauge blocks. But the key here is to set this exactly the same every single time. The third variable, and the one that just stumps really a lot of people and makes it difficult to be consistent with, is the length of the pocket. The uh, foot of our holding fixture goes in the pocket, and that dictates the angle that we're going to grind at. So this is the third variable. So getting this set the same every time uh, has always been an issue. Now, you'll notice I'm using CBN wheels, so they're not going to change diameter. I could actually put a mark on my uh, jig here if I wanted to, but then I might have a mark for this gouge and another gouge and another gouge. It could be different. So I have come up with a uh, setting fixture that helps us with that particular angle. The little setting fixtures that I've come up with here uh, are for use specifically with 8 inch wheels and the Vera Grind 1. So you would insert your setup block in your fixture and then regardless of where this is, when we place this in here and make two points of contact, then it's going to set this length perfectly. So, you put this in, set it there, make our two points of contact, and lock it down. So once we've done that, this distance is perfect. And all we have to do is set this with our two inch projection. And now when I go to sharpen the tool, the angle is perfect. But more than that, it's the same this time, next time, every single time, so the grind never changes. This is a two-piece set. There's a number one and a number two, which correspond with the instructions. Number one gives us two different bowl gouge grinds, depending on where we set the leg angle. That second of three variables. The number two is for a certain type of bowl grind, but mainly we use this one for sharpening spindle gouges. 
So it goes in exactly the same way. On this particular one, the instructions will tell you to use a setting of 23 degrees, which corresponds to the second notch. So we've changed two of the variables. We're going to change the pocket and we're going to change the lead. So now we just move this back, make sure both pieces are in firm contact, and that set this distance for what we're going to sharpen, which now is going to be a spindle gouge. So the one variable which doesn't change is that two inch projection. So on this particular fixture, I've got a two inch projection gauge block built in, but it would be identical to this. So now, when we go to sharpen our spindle gouge, it's set perfectly this time, next time, every single time, and it didn't take uh, hardly any time to set it up. So I'm speaking specifically to Veragrind 1 users, and these two little gauge setup blocks will actually give you four different grinds. One for a spindle gouge, and three different bowl gouge grinds from short to long, from a bottom feeder to an Ellsworth.